the Honorable Philip Bray Davis received his formative education at the Eastern Preparatory and Junior School and later went on to attend St. John's College. In 1969, Bray Davis began his journey to become a lawyer and has maintained this accomplishment ever since. His political career as a member of parliament was officially launched in 1992 when he won the by-election for the constituency of Cat Island, Rumpke, and San Salvador. Amen. Philip Ray Davis currently holds the seat today. Yes. I can stand all night and ramble on and on about the past <laughs> achievements and all of his accolades, but that's not why we're here this evening. No. We are not here to celebrate the past, no. but we are here to support him and going forward to do his endeavor best into the future. It is time to change. Yes. Yes. He is here to make a change. Yes. He understands our struggles in education, in immigration, national security, health care, everything. And he has a progressive plan to lead us onward. Right. Philip Ray Davis loves this party. Yes. And he loves the foundation of this party. Yes. What this party stands for, Tonight, I recommit myself yes. 
to help them make changes in our Bahamas. Yeah. There was an American physician, James Gordon, who once famously said, it is not some people that have willpower, and some don't. It is that some people are ready to change, and others are not. Are you ready to change? Yeah. I start by looking in the mirror. Yes, yes. And that's the proverbial sound by Michael Jackson the man in the mirror. So I look in the mirror and I see it is time to change. By your presence here tonight. I am sure that many of you are ready to join the fest to change the Bahamas. Yeah. Let me just say that I am humbled by the support, well wishes, and words of encouragement received today. I wish to thank the many of my close friends, family members, political colleagues, and supporters who have come together to organize and sponsor this event. Indeed, it is a testament that they appreciate, believe in, and understand my vision for a better Bahamas. I am committed to restoring the Bahamian dream. Some say it is a new dream, but I say great is a part and parcel of the dream that many of you and I had in our time. A dream which seems to have gone astray. A dream in a time when it took a community to raise a child, when we were drunk, we were our brothers and sisters. A time when a child was educated, fed, disciplined, and loved by people in the community. A time when neighbors knew each other by name and looked out to each other. A time when D was not an acceptable national trade a time when it didn't matter what time you were on the road and where you were going. A time when people chose to hold down two jobs. A time when one could sleep at night without having to worry about being warm or hurt by criminals. A time when young people proudly joined scouts. Brownies, park buyers, boys and girls, and other sorts, and not gangs. A time when, a time when it was not cool to be a gangster. My friends, the new dream is about implementing new methods to keep us safe and reduce crime. Looking for new areas to create employment, including in recycling, solar, and wind energy. It is about how we treasure our God-given 